Hello folks and welcome to your afternoon YDOT video weather briefing on this Monday, the 10th of April. I'm Day Weather Meteorologist Mark Hewer. It's been a really nice change of pace as spring has finally sprung here across Wyoming and the Rocky Mountain West and we will be unseasonably warm and also dry through Tuesday statewide. Rain and snow showers then Tuesday night in the northwest. Dry elsewhere still overnight on Tuesday and very mild. Light to moderate rain and some wet spring snow then going to be stretching from southwestern to northeastern Wyoming as we head into Wednesday and Thursday. Staying very mild and dry to mostly dry in the east and southeast though through Wednesday and possibly even Thursday. Here we have our 500 millibar chart showing us the equal lines of pressure and also wind direction about 20,000 to 25,000 feet in the atmosphere. And we have this nice ridge of very mild high pressure across the Rocky Mountain West and it is pumping in some warm April temperatures from the southwestern United States and finally temperatures at and above seasonal values and also dry conditions here across Wyoming as a result. This will hold true for Tuesday, but as we head into Wednesday, we're going to be looking at a Pacific low pressure system to start to drop into the Pacific Northwest. And we'll still have a very mild Southwest flow on Wednesday for the vast majority of the state. But this weather system starting on Wednesday is going to be cutting Wyoming in two, a little bit cooler and also a little bit wetter off to the northwestern sections of the state while we stay warm and dry across the east and southeast but as we work our way into late wednesday and thursday this low pressure system is going to continue to push eastward and so will cooler temperatures and also some increasing areas of rain showers even some thunderstorms for the first time this spring season and some areas of wet spring snowfall especially across our higher elevations Let's look here specifically at tonight and for this evening and overnight hours, we do have some wind here in this yellow shaded area, staying mild and dry though. Southwest winds 15 to 30, few gusts of 35 to 45, so no high wind alerts or blowover risk, but it will be a little breezy to windy, otherwise dry with light to breezy winds through the non-shaded areas and out in our western valleys, the Green River Valley, sections of the Wind River Basin and also the Bighorn Basin, could be looking at some areas of fog, likewise out here in our western valleys, but for the most part, very quiet overnight tonight. For Tuesday, very mild, 60s and 70s for lower elevations with the warmest temperatures in our non-snow covered areas out in the east and southeast, but throughout this yellow shaded area here, which is quite a bit of the state, we'll be looking at some healthy southwest winds 15 to 30, gusts of 35 to 45, and on the north side of the South Pass area, and also the west side of the Bighorn Basin, maybe here around the Muddy Gap area as well, some gusts of 50 to 60 miles an hour, especially in the a.m. to early afternoon hours, and up in the northeastern section of the state, the I-90 corridor, and down on 59 towards right, some gusts of 45 to 55, Slight chance we might see an extreme blowover risk and closure to light high profile on sections of South Pass for your Tuesday. Otherwise, though, not expecting that with then dry and mild conditions in the southwest and dry and warm conditions out in the east with 70s commonplace, likewise up in the far north. And here is that little bit of some rain and snow developing overnight Tuesday into Wednesday morning. And Teton and Togedy Passes may pick up an inch or so of some slush late Tuesday night. Otherwise, road impacts are not expected. And for your Tuesday, it is the green shade area with the low to some moderate impacts from those strong and gusty southwest winds, primarily about 40 to 55 miles an hour. Otherwise, non-shaded areas not expecting any road-related weather impacts on your Tuesday. Thanks for watching today. Enjoy the warm spring weather, and we'll talk to you tomorrow.